This is called a stopwatch timer. It's basically a very simple timer that allows you to place on the big screen a timer that will count up and mark a certain amount of time it took to do something. So we're going to click the continue button in the lower left here to start it. Basically here we have the ability to start a simple timer and just count up or if you wanted to you could actually track the scores of different teams or the time it takes different teams to do something. For example here we have team 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way down to 6. You could actually do 6 different timed events of the same thing and then compare times. For right now just to show you how it works I'm going to just do a simple t one event that I want to time. I'm going to click start the timer in the lower left when that happens a black screen and then it starts counting up this will basically count up until wherever I want it to stop to stop it I press the number one key if we needed to pause this event or something so we pause it right now when we want it to restart we can hold down the shift key and press the number one that will restart the timer and let it continue to go this happens until the team or the individual finishes the event and I tap one the number one on my keyboard now and once again, once pressing the number one key on the keyboard stops it, and if I wanted to restart it, I can hold down the shift key on the keyboard, press the number one key one time, and it will start up again. So I'm gonna press the number one key on the keyboard to stop it at 25 seconds. We now have a timed event at 25 seconds. That could be it, and we could return to team times and just end. Or if I wanted to track this and like make it a competition, I could return to team times come up to seconds, highlight that, and type in the number 25. We would then click start the timer again for team two, and once they begin now, we would start, and we'll just pretend here I'm gonna tap the number one key on the keyboard. We'll pretend they did it in four seconds. Quite different from team one there, but they were, I guess, still learning. So I'm gonna type 04. You could just put four, but I'm putting 04 to make it look uh, a little more even with the team one up there. Now, um, in addition to this, if you wanted to do multiple timings, you could. You would just have to simply add the times together yourself. The clock will not add them. So if you ran another uh, event and Team 1 got another 25 seconds, you would have to add it together to equal 50. Or if they required 1 minute 50 seconds, you would have to type that in however you wanted to do it there. That's basically how the timer works. And when you're done, you simply click Close Timer in the lower right-hand corner. One note, I would advise you to zero out everything on the screen before you end. Zeroing it out will help to clear things out so the next time you want to use the timer you don't have anything there. Um, if you don't do this, if you don't zero it out, you will see these numbers still here when the next time you open it. It's not a big deal. You just have to start the slideshow and then remove them by typing 00. zero. You cannot remove them in normal PowerPoint edit mode. It won't let you change them once you're in there. Um, in addition there also, if you just close the timer out and uh, when it asks you do you want to save changes and you say no, it'll clear them all out then too. So that's the timer. To begin the game using Office 2007, go to the Slideshow tab and click one time. After clicking on the Slideshow tab, click the From Beginning button on the far left. This will begin the game. To start the game in any version of PowerPoint before Office 2007, go to the Slideshow menu and choose View Show. This game is designed for whole class participation. Participants are divided into teams or may work as individuals. For best results, use an LCD projector or TV to display the game to participants. If you receive a security alert when beginning this game and you're using Office 2007, simply click the Enable This Content button and then click OK. Please note, if you are using a version of Microsoft Office prior to Office 2003, some of the features in these games may not function properly. It is advised that you do your editing of the PowerPoint slides or games in your older version, and then use Microsoft's free PowerPoint Viewer for actual game play. To download the free viewer, just do a web search for PowerPoint Player 2007.